Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day to be alive, and it's an even better day to work on cars. We, I guess, depending on the title of this video, I, I want to get this car. I want to get Granda driving today. I want to drive Granda today so bad. And let me show you what we need to get done. Also, oh, the wind, man. Jeez. Went back to it. Uh, one of you commented about how I didn't really go into depth on a lot of the intercooler setup and a lot of everything I did in the last video because I was trying to get it to that car meet and I actually I did a lot without explaining to it and I'm sorry. So we're going to go through and explain everything that we've done to the car. I also noticed that the hood had shifted in the accident so we got to redo that. So this piping kit like I said is for a GC8. This intercooler is a is an eBay intercooler actually but this is the same factory that makes those massive Perrin intercoolers. And so this is one of those intercoolers. This is one of those massive ones. It's actually so wide, I had to cut these wider to get this to fit. And I'm gonna need to go see if I can get them rebeated. And what I did is I got a two by two, 39 inch steel rebar. And I tapped into where the stock crash bar goes into. And we have bolted that to the frame. And then the intercooler bolts to the rebar. Now this is not fully mounted. This is all loosely mounted right now because I wanted to get it all to fit. I need to pull this bar off. We need to paint this bar. And then we also need to fully mount everything. I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to mount the intercooler to the bar and then mount the bar to the car and then hook it all up. Cause we mounted the bar to the car and then tried to put the intercooler on the bar. And as you can tell with this right here, it makes it kind of difficult. We've got homeboy John pulling up to come help out with this today. I want to get driving her pull off the bar, paint the bar, we need coolant, and then we actually got the tools to throw the new blow valve on because we have the adapter for the new HKS blow valve to fit on the front mount. So we have to swap that over. And then, oh, AC compressor, hold on. This is the new AC compressor right here. So now I gotta figure out how to mount the old bracket tree so we can fit it in here, but it's also way bigger compared to the old one. So not sure boys over here helping pull off the intercooler we got to pull the bracket off and then we're gonna paint it slowly but surely but i think we're gonna get this done today well after looking at caden's forester because he has uh sf5 he has an extra idler pulley right where that nub is and then he has a tensioner there and so it goes from the, the ac compressor down over the pulley and then to the crank pulley and i don't have that i don't have the tensioner so i'm not sure i'll be able to run ac but for now, what we're gonna do, because I wanna drive is we're just gonna throw the AC compressor bracket back on so I can throw the alternator back in. Just gonna paint that real quick. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do for now because I wanna drive it today. Caden is so graciously giving me this Jaff badge. Where do we put it? Honestly, okay, that's kind of fire right there. That's what I'm saying. That's where I, that's where I had it. Yeah, but you did passenger side, right? Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I wanna do, yeah, let's do, let's, let's leave it there for now. Comment down below. Where you where that should go but we're gonna put it right there for now all right so now we got to take this so again this is just two by two steel rebar 39 inches long and i'll show you how we did this to the car we nutserted into the car where the original bash bar went on both sides right in the middle there and then we drilled those two this one i messed up i had to drill twice this was drilled good we're just gonna scotch bright this real quick to get the surface rust off, and then we're gonna throw a quick thing of paint on it. Call it good. Doesn't need to be perfect, just not needs to not look like gross rusty metal. If you follow me on my Snapchat, I posted a photo of this thing. And this thing is the inner front mount intercooler adapter for the HKS blowout valve. Clips into there, and then you get a hose. It goes on to that end, and then it goes on to that end. But what you need to get these off is one of those clamp things. I didn't have any, oh. I didn't have any, so I, while I was out of town in Colorado, I ordered some to the house. So now I've got a full set. So we're gonna see if we can swap this over because these are the absolute worst to take care of. What are you guys doing over here? We're getting ready for pain, brother. Phone delete. Yeah, <laughs> hit me up. Hit me up. How are you going to do this with the wind right now? It, it's possible. Hit up, hit up the Instagram app. <laughs> Be off for all your paint work needs. Because if you look at it over here, this side's chrome, but over there on the driver's side. Is it black? It's black. 
Ah. And it's bothering. You have to. You just have to wait for a dead spot in the wind and then spray it real quick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's bothering the piss out of me. That would bother me too, for sure. Hell yeah. All right, I finally got that spring clamp off, so we got to throw the O-ring in here and then pray I can get this in because this sucks. So I'm gonna swap that O-ring out to in there. That's that thing. It worked. That sucked though. I'm gonna see if I can get it on the new one now. Huh? Yeah, I'm waiting for one side to dry while I'm putting this on. Whose side is this? Is this yours? Your Porsche? I'm just gonna put it in another car, but. In the Audi? No, Audi's got a factory sub. I wanna upgrade my sub in my, in my factory one. Yeah. yeah. I just gotta cut a bigger hole into it and put a bigger amp in it and shit. How small was the compressor on the fucking We're close. Hold on, I got most of the way in. I don't know for sure, but I believe that is all the way down. I guess we'll find out once we throw 22 PSI at it and see if it holds or if it shoots off. Oh, I didn't even know you painted it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're dancing with Dave. Oh, my gosh. That looks so much better. That actually is so much better. Oh. Oh. Oh, they have some like tacky shit. No, it's, it's, it's better than the silver yeah. or the chrome. Not oh oh oh, oh. Max just saved us. Woo! A lot better now. Oh. What? Is that tape? That's not tape. Is that tape? No, that's tape. Oh. That's fine. I don't care. The masking job. Two out of ten. Not the masking ten job. Ten. Sick. Dude, intercooler on with the nice fresh painted bar. Oh, and the blow valve on. I don't know if I filmed that. Blow valve on. Everything? Oh, Everything's on, God. literally. What's left? Nice no, what? <laughs> nice yeah. <cockadoo. laughs> what? Uh, uh, oh, we just got to jump start it now. It's done. Got my Forester right here. We're ready. Oh, yeah, we just got to jump start it. What? Hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Does he have a jump pad? I just got I got cables in there. Oh, oh, told you. Oh, oh, got oh we got a jump pad. pack. Woo! I was just gonna use cables. Dude, I literally think it's time to start this thing again. I'm terrified. I'm so scared right now to do this. Cause it's been a month and a half. And it's got a full new intercooler set up on it, radiator set up on it. I don't know if anything leaks or not. <laughs> I just don't know if anything's gonna leak or not. I got power. You want me to try? try it. Hey, here we go.
So I gotta make sure the fan's not hitting this. That look good. Looks good. Oh my gosh. I'm freaking out right now. No codes! I can drive this car today, I'm so excited! All right, do the bags work? Yep, they're lifting. Front's up. Front's up. Here, there's going up. It feels like it's going up sideways. Oh, wait, because you're on the, you're on the, uh... Yeah, that's not going up. Yeah, because you're on the wood over there. Oh, there yeah, it goes. Yeah. That was weirding me out a little bit. <laughs> oh, this is surreal. Oh, that was me. We are outside. <laughs> this is that Bronco. We, we are outside. I'm just staring at gauges. I'm super nervous right now. Should have gone to AutoZone. Where's AutoZone? Closer than O'Reilly's. Is that the? Yeah, hey, that lasted long. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! I want to see where my coolant's at. Please tell me where my coolant's 201. at. Two oh one. Two oh one. Oh, hey, what did it hit? Two seventeen. Two seventeen. That's hot. It jumped up pretty. Quick. It went. Fa yeah, yeah. I don't know it if you could see it. It was at one ninety two and then it jumped up. Now. Yeah, it was like one ninety two and then all of a sudden it just skyrocketed. After we get some coolant in, it should be fine. Yeah, it's just missing a gallon of coolant. I figured O'Reilly's, which is just right over there, was close enough, but I guess not. Oh, dude, Jimmy Oaks it. Jimmy Oaks it. Jimmy Oaks it. Oh, oh, that's not a solid core. Oh, oh come oh, on, Max. Shit. Come on. Okay, I'm not gonna try to. Watch this not be enough. Just poured a whole bottle down there. There was already, I already poured a whole bottle in there. That'll burn off in time. She, yeah. We don't need another bottle. She drank the whole thing. <laughs> she thirsty. <laughs> she a little angry too. A little angry and a little thirsty. A little angry and a little thirsty. Do we need, do we need another one? Look, look, look. I'm gonna start it and see. Hey, don't, hey, hey, don't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can had, we can we edit had, that out. We had to we had to get in here quick. We had to get in here quick because it was it was the temps were shooting up. They were skyrocketing. What's up? Uh, it's camp. I'm gonna show you something. What is this fitment? What is, what is that fitment? What? Max, come on. He's probably gonna edit that out. You got it? Okay. I'm gonna stand back. Oh, I'm scared. Huh? What? There's no pressure in it. Chill. It works. That doesn't make any sense. It was at 201. That must have been an air pocket. Sounds good.
Okay, I'm sure I'm gonna get flamed because of my rusty quarter. I'm fixing it, okay? I sanded down all the rust. I need to put some clear coat on it, and then I either gotta figure out if we repaint the car, or wrap the car, or what, but I promise you I'm trying to fix it. It's bad, I know. The car is running way cooler than it ever has. Um, it's not making 22 PSI, it's making 17 again, but it still, still rips. Watch this. You already know what's going on. Do something fruity. Well, I don't know. <laughs> but she <just> slammed. <laughs> oh my goodness. sitting here idling for who knows how long with my fans off in this cylinder four cooling mod this thing's at 192 it's going down the highest is 194 and it's at 192 that's literally i you that is right there showing us how well this mod does that's insane factory subarus will drop will uh, range from 205 to 207 while idling like this with the fans all the way on and this is at 192. It's not moving with the fans off. Oh my gosh, I started that clip right as I had to sneeze on accident. <laughs> Rhonda did so good yesterday and last night driving. We had zero leaks, zero issues. I've noticed a little bit of differences with driving the car with the front mount on. And I'm also sure that the ECU, after being shut off for the past month and a half, probably needs to figure a few things out as Subarus tend to do when you like reset the ECU and whatnot. I've had a couple of Subarus where the car takes a good couple days of driving for it to kind of go back to completely normal. But other than that, the car did phenomenal, zero issues. All I got to do now is keep fitting the kit. This intercooler is literally so massive. Look, I mean, just look at it compared to the front end. It's insane. Anyways, that's for ending this video. I appreciate y'all for watching. I love you all. Peace out.